We have a lot of um, leadership books that we have read, and I understand these are people who are already a learned and literate of uh, leadership skills and styles. What strikes me most is one that is being um, authored by Stephen Covey, an educator and uh, businessman, on the book of Seven Habits of Effective People. And uh, the number five there is uh, seek to understand and be understood. Um, a lot of us um, have always been uh, dealing our uh, daily basic operations in schools, especially uh, we have lots of problems, concerns, issues. What we are doing most is we tend to uh, probe, evaluate, as uh, we give some of the tips, but then we forget to understand that people around us, our teachers, needs understanding and listening. We have to have our paradigm shift instead of always uh, be heard. Let's have two ears to be uh, heard from our constituents because the art of listening has been always uh, consuming time for us, but it will be giving much more of um, the release coming from our teachers, coming from our personnel. So, um, unfortunately, it's not flash, but I'd like to influence all of us, especially the viewers, that in leadership, we need to have our two ears functioning and our mouth be closed at a while because most of the time, our people, our constituents, our community is needing our heart to listen and that they be understood first so that we can be also understood. Again, I'd like to repeat, uh, for most in the seven habits, we have first habit uh, shared by our um, educator and businessman. We have um, being pro proactive and then um, taking good care of our people by uh, doing it first, think win-win, and then we have our um, the capacity to understand them so that we be understood. We will be synergizing and then we will be always having the habit of communicating and sharpen the saw. So congratulations in advance to all of us because I know uh, all of these things, the leadership skills that we are sharing, uh, this would be put into waste if we don't have the heart to understand our people surrounding us. And secondly, uh, the fruit and products of it is that they can understand us. Thank you and mabuhay. Definitely again and I lead first. They are the charisma, the character, the competence, and the conviction to do the right thing. You can like people without leading them, but you cannot lead people well without liking them. The uh, lines of the book that I encountered, ni Google. It was a book, an e-book. It is a uh, a Stanford psychologist named Carol Dweck and her book is entitled Mindset. It says it isn't just our abilities and talent that bring our success, but whether we approach our goals with a fixed or growth mindset. Um, I choose this one because it somehow um, heart because when we are uh, when we fail Diba? It seems that ang imong life is diha na. But then, in here, si Carl Dweck, iko siya tong mindset, a growth mindset. Because that failure, take it as a learning opportunity for you. Um, the seven ancient secrets of managing productive people. So I would like to share with you the seven, then ma-touch na ko na siya. First is to know the condition of your people. Uh, follow the status of your people as well as the status of the work. 
get to know your people one sheep at or one teacher at a time the second is discover the shape of your teachers know the shape of your teachers to make sure they're in the right hole a, sh a shape is an acronym which means s for strengths h uh, h for heart then a for attitude p for, for personality and e is for, is for experience for workplace in our school if we don't have trust and we don't have that psychological safety in our environment so our teachers will create a problem uh, it is stressful if, it, if our teachers we don't have uh, emphasize the trust and psychological safety